Hey guys, I'm Mike from Guildford Custom, based here at the world famous Guildford Harley Davidson. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're here for episode two of Behind the Door. It's February, the sun's out, feeling a bit of warmth for once, so I'm excited for the spring. Anyway, let's kind of have a look at what's going on. Come on inside. So, shop's looking a little bare compared to episode one. However, the Punisher trike is off the bench. There's a couple of little bit extras to do on this bike. So we have all of the automatic button operated gear changes and bits and pieces to be put onto this bike by our good friends at Clicktronic. So that's all uh, going off very shortly to have all that stuff done, which is great. Heading into the workshop. So I mentioned to you in the last episode that we were gonna be doing some customization work on our good friend Terry's Lowrider S, which is part three of his customization journey with this bike. So we've done all the tuning work. The bike's now away for all its cosmetics, paint, and we're painting the wheels, fairing, tank, fenders, side panels. We're also upgrading the front brakes, putting some Galfer disc, and we're getting some Brembo calipers off of a live wire. Uprate that uh, front braking system, which is really needed, considering we're running, what, 135 horsepower and 150 foot-pounds of torque out of this motor. Pretty punchy. New project on the bench right now. This one's away at paint. This is a 2022 Sportster S. We built a beautiful bike for a customer of ours a few years ago called the Roadster Racer. He then traded that in, bought Street Bob, but he's back for another custom bike. This is the Roadster Racer 2. So we'll have a little walk around video on this in the coming months. Uh, carbon fiber heat shields, stainless mufflers, carbon tips, uh, V performance. You'll remember these exhausts from the States Blue Sport stress that we did a few months back. It's here, I'm pretty excited about this one. The 2023 breakout is finally arrived. Loving this bike with the new features of the bigger tank with then the chrome console. Same console that you get on the Lowrider S. What a good looking machine though. Back to the old school days of the twin cam breakout with the big tank. I just think it suits the aesthetics way better, way better. I think we're gonna do really, really well with this one this year. Another thing that I really like about the new bike as well is Harley Davidson are now putting these really cool halo smoke stop tail turn indicator and tail lights on the bikes as standard. So they come on your street bob, your sport glide, breakout, fat boy, soft tail standard, you know, absolutely brilliant. In fact, tell you what, why don't you have a look at this? Well, I want to cut it there because I just actually put the wrong code in, but. You can bleep that out. Um. There you go, check those out. That now comes on your standard 2023 model. How nice is that? So you get your brake lights in the halo and then your indicators. So, I'm sorry this is all blurred out, but you can't actually see this. This is our Trailblazers bike for the upcoming Trailblazers competition we spoke about in the Pan America video that we put up a couple of weeks ago. Um, I can't wait to show you what this bike's actually gonna look like. Getting there with this beautiful fat boy now, just still trying to work on the Moto Gadget Speedo and bits and pieces, get that all working properly. So that'd be uh, super cool when that's all done and finished. Lowrider STs happening all over. Nearing completion with this Road King that uh, Will was talking about in the last episode. Most of the stuff's done, we're just waiting for our uh, rear light wing so we can add in the new smoked custom dynamics stop tail turn indicators, but we do have the smoked LED tail lights on the bag. We've added the, uh, the exhaust system, the stage two's all done and buttoned up. The motor's looking fantastic actually. And yeah, just simple things really like, you know, it's all badged up, ready to rock and roll few finishing touches and we'll have this one on the road. The fat boy that was painted in uh, the last episode at Image Design Custom, that's going together. We're just waiting on a few extra bits from Harley Davidson, but uh, yeah, look at this engine. So this is a stage four, 131 motor. So what's that, 2.1, 2.2 litre, something like that. s, &S teardrop air filter with this amazing cutout with the, the k and filter element showing through. Oh, say k and s, s air filter element before someone at SNS shoots me. Again, Empire Collection timing cover, match that up with the Derby cover on the other side. Empire Collection billet footboards. Probably one of the last bikes to roll out of here with a brand new set of Vance and Heinz big radius two into two. These pipes have been discontinued. Can you believe it? It's probably one of the most successful pipes Vance and Heinz have ever produced. In fact, 
got a set of these on my dad's diner. Um, as you can see, the paint's looking absolutely amazing. We've got a couple of bits to do, remove the reflectors and bits and pieces from the rails. Still got to sort out the front end. We're still waiting on these from Harley Davidson, so come on guys. Get these bits to me, I really need them. Matthew's Lowrider ST just behind, starting to get a bit of shine on it. Chrome cam cover, chrome transmission cover, chroming out the uh, primary this side as well. You've got this 66 collection Derby cover, timing cover, mirrors, get a grip grips, some nice chrome switches. I can't wait for you guys to see this bike and myself and Dan behind the camera, we've got something pretty special planned for the walk around video for this. I think you guys are gonna really, really love it. Back out into the showroom, what's happening? So we've got a ton of 2022 uh, brand new soft tails in stock and a few of the 2023 bikes are coming through now as well, which is great. Bikes of note actually, we've got this beautiful CVO Street Glide in the yellow. At the time of filming, this bike's available. Get in touch if you're interested. The showroom is looking a little bit empty now though. We did have it full of motorcycles, especially custom bikes for the MCN Motorcycle Show, which is happening this coming weekend. So we had Pulse 128, that was here. We also had the Custom Pan America, and we had that very secretive Fat Boy that you guys are gonna be uh, able to see very, very soon. We Move Bikes, who transport all the motorcycles to us as the dealer network. They picked up all the motorcycles yesterday and they're heading their way up to London. So we shall do the same. Let's get up there. Let's go check out the show. So we've made it to London, to the Excel Centre. We're gonna head into the show in just a minute. The door's open in about five minutes time. I've just done my first practice run on the sprint uh, on Pulse 128, which was pretty exciting. Got the measure of it now, so I'm looking forward to gunning that later on. We can get a little bit of early access because we can go through the exhibitor entrance. So uh, let's go. So yeah, this is uh, our sneaky back door in. Welcome to the London Motorcycle Show with MCN. Here we are. Let's head over to the Harley Davidson stand, check it out. So as you know, within the Lind group, we've now got Charlie Stockwell, Lind X Stockwell design, as part of the Lind group, which is great. Uh, we're gonna be doing some collaboration stuff with Charlie over the course of the year, which I'm really excited about. Some nice Stockwell, Guildford, Guildford Stockwell, however way you want to put it around. Uh, Charlie's here and um, he's got a bike here. He's got his Lowrider ST that was on display at the NEC as well. So uh, let's go take a look at the bike. Hey, doing, mate. All right, all right. Nice to see you. You too. So What's much better happening? looking in person, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, What's going we... on? Where are we, Mike? Where are we? We are at the London XL. The MCN motorcycle show, which we have already pointed out outside, so we did not walk through. You've done it nice. We have. Yes. That's okay. We're a proper professional. Mike, what see. time did you get this morning on the on the run? What time? I have no idea. Didn't it wasn't as quick as you though, because I saw you fly. Of it wasn't. I know. Yeah. You pinned it. I did. You did tell me to just take it easy. Look, that's a tactic. You should never listen to. But I'm only a little. Well, yeah, but I love you, man. So it's okay. Lowrider ST. Lowrider ST. Tell us about so your we ST, built this Charlie. up at Watford Harley Davidson towards the end of, of last year. I suppose the main thing about this is the very, very loud intricate and detailed paint job that we work with image design custom on the flame is my yeah it's my signature you've seen it on the bell helmets on my race bikes uh, we've got a little throw to my race number on the side here that was a request from toby sleeman so fantastic i suppose in a way it kind of represents the next stage of what i'm getting into with the performance custom performance baggers the racing with motor american harley davidson this season so we got Olin suspension in the rear. Olin suspension. Up front we left standard? Left standard. We were going to cool. put the cartridge kit in as well. Nice. And then we were deciding do we do a full Olin's conversion on the front. I couldn't get the triple trees machined in time for this. Okay. Because we had it at the NC, uh, NEC show. Yeah. So we've got stock forks in there at the moment. We will switch to, to Olin's at some point. But Olin's rear shock really does make a big difference. It does, yeah. We put Olin's uh, rear shock on our Lowrider S. The one with the big stage four motor in it that yeah. we had dyno tuned. 
and then a Legend uh, front suspension cartridge kit only because that's what was available at the time. Yeah. Honestly, it's transformed the no, handling. No, it does. Suspension, great. I think it's an underrated mm. performance component or performance yeah, enhancement, especially on the Harless now that we're getting better chassis, the bikes are more lightweight, uh, the engines are better. Brakes are better. Harley have gone with that trend in improving suspension, but you can't beat Erlen's uh, suspension front and rear. On no, no, thing. absolutely. So, and then, of course, Rob for Fosgate. You've got to have your tunes playing. Mate, life's too short not to listen to Catchy Taylor yeah, Swift so, tunes. <laughs> How do you like what's on my iPod? I guess. But it looks good because it, it blends in so well. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, yeah, but for a bike like this, you want to cruise as well. You want your tunes playing. Yeah. I don't like wearing headphones when I'm, when I'm uh, riding around. Some other really cool features on this motorcycle. So, you know, if you haven't got down to the show, maybe get down to Watford, check the bike out. It's really, really nice. You know, some really nice just Harley Davidson parts on this motorcycle as well. Um, Charlie, thanks for showing us the bike, man. And uh, let's go have some fun on the, the sprint. Yeah, man, let's go have some fun. Cheers. See ya. So it's great to catch up with Charlie. I'm really looking forward to racing on the sprint with him uh, later on. Um, we have Steve Kelly with us, the marketing manager for Harley Davidson UK and Ireland. He's going to show us around a bit more of the stand. Steve, hello, mate. Hey, how you doing? Good, good to see you. Good, good to, to see, see you. Good to see you too. Great setup. Thank you. Looks yeah, fantastic, yeah. doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Got yeah. some particularly nice motorcycles kicking around the yeah, stand. As yeah, well. yeah. We've got a nice mix between you know, mm. classic and modern custom and, and sort of you know stock so yeah, yeah great absolutely. selection of bikes here for the show yeah well, i'd like to say thank you for having a couple of our custom bikes oh. from Guildford custom on the stand mate i really yeah no for that. sure thanks for bringing them on nice beautiful bikes nice to get them out there um so you want to show us a few bikes so yeah. uh here we have the street glide st which has been a, a particularly good seller for us at Guildford, and we've been yeah. two into one exhaust stage two tuning them that kind of thing yeah definitely adding in the Olins. Talk us through what you've done to this bike for the show. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, King of the Baggers is you know, a, an amazing race series out in the States. So we took inspiration from King of the Baggers to create yeah. our own road-going bagger, basically. Um, so what we did, we, we got this bike in from the press fleet. We've added the Olin shocks on the rear. Also, the front uh, Olin shocks running on this as well. Completely transforms the ride of it. You know, it, does, it really, yeah. really does. I mean, just straight out of the box, it's a cool bike, but yeah, with these few yeah. extras on it, yeah. it's just a game changer, isn't it? Absolutely. What else you got to show us, mate? Right, so next up, Fatboy Anniversary. This is one of the very first here in Europe. Brought Fantastic. it here to the show, so no one would have seen this before, certainly not here in the UK, and one of the first in Europe. Fatboy Anniversary, commemorating 120 years of Harley Davidson. I mean, just look at the paint job. It's I mean, beautiful, isn't it? I was really excited to see this bike in the flesh. I mean, I'm a big fan of the Fatboy anyway. As you know, a lot of the custom bikes yeah. that we do at Guildford for custom are based around the Fatboy anyway. So to see this bike uh, in the metal yeah. is lovely. But yeah, your paint scheme's amazing. I love this yeah. 120 commemorative yeah. bag. The Speedbird well. is, and you know, we're doing using this Speedbird across some of our clothing as well this Absolutely. year, just to bring it all to together. I mean, these are super limited globally. Yeah. 3,000 worldwide? 3,000 worldwide, yep. And a limited number here as well. There's only a handful coming to the UK. Do you know how many are coming oh, to the limit, UK? Very limited number. Very limited numbers. <laughs> so basically what you need to do is you need to get on the phone to me and get one on order if you want one because snooze, you lose. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful bike. Paintwork's absolutely amazing. Cool, what else you got? Oh, we're gonna around. have to have a look at Trailblazers. Let's go Let's have a look it. at Trailblazers. Yeah. So continuing with our 120th anniversary celebrations, we thought, 120 years, Harley Davidson history. What's Harley most famous for, arguably? Look, sound and feel, and customization. And everyone in the dealer network are absolute experts. We've got one of your bikes here, which I have to say looks absolutely mega. Thanks. So tra Trailblazers is really all about bringing a customization seen to the adventure touring segment. Right? The adventure touring segment, we know it's really popular, but customization isn't something that really exists within it. So now what we're doing is we're launching the uh, customization program where 10 dealers across the country are taking part to compete to uh, customize a Pan America and showcase what this amazing platform can do. Yeah. So if you come around the other side, you can see the yeah, underpinnings yeah. of the Pan America. So um, it's really nice to, uh, to see the bear, but sorry for the noise. We have the jump start running. 
Yeah, so the jump start's an awesome feature on the stand. It Absolutely. gives people an opportunity who perhaps don't ride already to come on and feel a Harley. And make it up for the Absolutely. Gears. So if you're here this weekend, make sure you come and try that out. Um, this is pretty much what our Pan America looks like at the moment uh, for Trailblazers. So we completely stripped it back. Yeah. Um, really excited to show you what Absolutely. that's going to look like when that, that comes uh, comes to fruition that's going to be really really cool well obviously your bike and, and the 10 dealers that are taking part will be taking them to Budapest for the Absolutely. 120th anniversary party where they'll be judged uh, on the on the best the best custom trailblazer so yeah good luck with that to no, you no. and everyone at the team I'm excited to see what the future holds Steve thanks very awesome, much man. for showing us around Everybody. a couple of the bikes yes, on mate. the stand um, we're going to carry on having a look around let's do it so that's great thanks man Thank you so much for tuning in to episode two of Behind the Door with Guildford Custom. It's really cool to be here at the show. It's really cool to unveil Ian's Fat Boy as well to the world. I need to get back in the mix. Lots of things to see and do, people to chat to. So uh, I guess I'll see you in episode three.